crash course in the prevention of occupational disease. Hamilton characterized her opportunity to work on the commission as pioneering exploration of an unknown field. No young doctor nowadays can hope for work as exciting or rewarding. Everything I discovered was new and most of it was really valuable. I knew nothing of manufacturing processes, but I learned them on the spot. And before long, detailed, the production was very familiar to me. The Neen Commission focused their work on industrial poisons and on heat and exposed the physical, biological, traumatic exposures because of the in-depth nature of their work um, seemed insurmountable. They had very focused uh, on, on, on what they were willing to include in their report. The outcome of the investigation was important in Illinois, the beginning of similar investigations at the federal government and other states, and the realization that Hamilton, that her education to date provided her with the knowledge and skills ideally suited for the work. Life at Hull House had accustomed me to st going straight to the homes of people about whom I wished to learn something and talking to them in their surroundings where they, get, uh, they have courage to speak out their own minds. And I think that there's some analogy there to her comfort then in going to workplaces, that she had no, no discomfort at all to walk up to the door and knock on the door of a company and say, I'm here. And as was pointed out, she had no other authority than I'm here. Um, and they let her in. And the skills that she had honed in her working within the communities and working in homes and the Hull, at Hull House, um, I think, again, gave her some of those skills to, to be comfortable and confident to, to walk up to the, to the investigators. Hamilton did her work in the field. Her research in industrial poisons and work-related um, disease is universally conducted at workplace and community. Education and workers and industrialists have conducted in the same way. This is true throughout her life and um, her crew on the Dean Commission work. I have a little video here I'm gonna show you, and it is very, it's a very poor quality. So you will not, be, it's dark, and you will not be able to see very clearly what's on it, but you will see a, a white, uh, a white cap, and the white cap of hair in the middle, and that's Alice Hamilton. And this is from a very short um, anecdotal interview that was conducted with her in uh, the 1960s, but the video is talking about a symposium in Chicago in 1937, where the speaker and Alice Hamilton were both presenters. So we have a speaker. I, I, if you listen, it's a little hard to hear too. But if you listen carefully, um, it'll, it, you'll, you'll, you're listening for um, the story and then um, what it says about about life experience. Okay. So do we turn off the lights, Jen? This is, but that's as good as it gets. Okay.
I'm not mentioned in talking about the toxicology of the organic salt this morning. I'm going to base my talk on my uh, 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, um, I, I like that video um, for two reasons. One is because it's a video that shows Alice Hamilton as difficult as it is to see. Um, there, as you'll see, for, you know, I think if you go to other presentations, you see the same pictures all the time because there aren't a lot of pictures. And so, um, whenever you can find a little bit of footage like that, I think it's really a, really a treat. Um, but in addition, I think it speaks to experience and the lived experience and the, the um, first-hand experience. And that Alice Hamilton brought to these settings that first-hand experience that, that experts in the field um, um, honored as well. Um, I'm gonna say a few words about Alice Hamilton at Harvard to transition in talking about curriculum. So she went to Harvard, and I think was, was, was um, nicely presented um, by Chris, um, because she was the best in her field. She was the first woman that they hired. She was the best in the field. That's why she went there. But she had some conditions of going. They had conditions they put on her, which weren't necessarily very um, egalitarian. But she also had some conditions for them. And the conditions that she put on her hiring were that um, uh, in a letter in February 1919 that she had exchanged with Dr. Edsel, who was mentioned in the earlier talk, um, that she would be doing a course on poisons, that the course uh, was a series of lectures on um, industrial poisons and included 26 separate lectures on heat and humidity, long hours, chemicals, other things. She then put in four lections on lead industries and one on lead, poison, lead poisoning. But in her return letter, um, she indicated that she would do these and this was satisfactory, but they also must include visits with the class to factories and she would be happy to make those arrangements. The return letter from Dr. Drinker, who was secretary of the department, indicates that he and Edsel would like her to increase her lectures um, and that they would, um, that they would work um, with her so that the course could be co closely correlated with the industrial clinic and be ready as possible to arrange for factory visits for the practical side of the work. In addition, when she went to Harvard, she went to Harvard for six months of the year. She spent the other six months of the year continuing her work with um, um, the Bureau of, of, of uh, Labor Statistics as well, and Hull House. Her course description that she taught um, was called Industrial Toxicology. Um, she was an assistant professor. And the course will cover the industrial poisons by means of lectures and assigned reading, which will be supplemented by visits to industrial establishments for the purposes of demonstrating specific industrial hazards and their means of prevention. This was in the course description for the course that she was hired to teach at Harvard. In her textbook, um, I think she also reflects, so the first textbook that she published where my views on uh, what she believed with why I'll come from. Um, she, the, the front of the book, the title page says that she's Alice Hamilton, uh, assistant professor of medicine at Harvard School of Public Health, and formerly the special investigator of poisons and industries for the US Department of Labor Statistics. Again, I think it continues to reflect the value she placed on being in the field and the lived the lived experience. So finally, I want to talk about um, who are you and what do you bring to um, creating safe and healthy workplaces. In 1910, 19 miners died in West Virginia and 11 oil uh, workers died in the Gulf of Mexico. The Bureau of Labor Statistics in 2008 shows that there are 3,696,000 uh, recordable injuries and illnesses and 5,000 fatal injuries to workers. Contemporary industrial hygiene curriculum should supplement the educational journey